We're reacting to KSI and Impulsive number two, aka the return of KSI, Impulsive episode 309. Let's go. This is the first time I've ever like DM the girl, and it was crazy, bro. I felt like a little kid. I sent I sent her a message, and then I just dropped my phone like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm so old. I'm so old, and I've been with Stephanie so long. I didn't even go through the era of DMs. It was all like Facebook Messenger and stuff. <laughs> Everyone would yeah. just hit on girls on Facebook Messenger. That was like the cutting edge. Thumbs up. Wait, can we have JJ lead us into the episode? East Coast, Would Ryan. Can you do the intro? Yeah, I feel like it's not up to us. Eastern. Can I Can I swear? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. <laughs> 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 um, uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, yo, what's up, <laughs> And welcome to... <laughs> yeah. Impulsive. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> George is like, yo, is this episode going to go like the Island Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. MSN. <laughs> not listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. Do all of those right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have KSI back on the podcast. <laughs> Welcome, JJ, to Los Angeles <laughs> and America. Hey, yo, it's been two years. That's two crazy. Years since I've come uh, from... Uh, <laughs> I haven't not in two years. Yeah, two years since I've come, bro. <laughs> It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, because the whole as soon as I landed. <laughs> it's so weird. Have you guys gotten used to hearing about people traveling again? It's so odd to me because it's like the travel has opened up and closed down so many times. I'm so confused. Yeah, don't pay attention to Nightbot, guys. Nightbot is completely broken. But I, I, I always, I can never tell because obviously we've been with dealing with the one year old baby. We haven't been able to go on any international flights or anything. So. I'm not really paying attention, and then every once in a while, someone's like, "Oh yeah, I flew here." And then they're like, "Oh, I can't fly," and I just, I have no idea. I did that too. <laughs> I did that too. <laughs> can, can I uh, get turned up in the headphones a little yeah, more? I, I'd little like more to too, hear yeah. about our, JJ our nutting a little louder. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Today, some <ASMR> nut. <laughs> Test uh, <laughs> Sorry. What a what a shitty start. <laughs> no, this is actually great, dude. <laughs> dude, it's good to have you. It's yeah, good to it's have you. Good to be here, man. Again. Again. Oh, I made it. <laughs> With Mike this time. Yes. Beautiful. I know how much he wanted to be. I, did, <laughs> I miss you on the first yeah, one, man. George stole the, he did. stole the show. It was good. Though. We made yeah. your music video, bro. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look good as a cartoon. <laughs> Dude, that's our most viewed podcast. The last one that you were on. Oh, it's most viewed now. Most yeah. viewed podcast. And honestly, probably, probably the... The best we've had, too. The content. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Dude, Mike's just sitting there shaking his head like... Shit, guys, I wasn't even on that one. Everybody, stop gassing up how good the content was on the podcast that I wasn't there for, please. Wouldn't have changed yeah, one thing about it. It. Mm -mm. it was yeah, fucking... It was, it was like <laughs> everything. Like, humor, you know, seriousness, and then it was just like... Wholesome as well. So, so no pressure on this one. Fuck. Yeah, no, shit. <laughs> no, no, no. But now we're chilling. You guys got the tough stuff out of the way. You got your like your your moment to you know rekindle and become mm. friends. And now we get to have fun. Yeah, on this one, I get to party and just D <laughs> dig deep into the brain of, of KSI <laughs> and figure out what all those cryptic tweets are about. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, what bro, is going bro, just bro, start bro, like that, bro. I'm single in it, so I'm just going through. Oh, right. You just need to like leave your phone. If you guys are going to do sad boy hours, if you're drinking and you get to sad boy hours, your phone has to go in a different room, guys. It's not worth it. You'll message somebody. You'll post something. Do not. Sad boy hours and phones do not go together. No, but I know you were Ever. traveling yesterday. I know Ever. you were on the plane. Yeah, bro. And I'm looking at your tweets. Bro, it's whenever I'm alone. Whenever I'm, al I'm alone and I'm listening to certain music, I just get my feels and I'm like. Fuck, I miss her, man. <laughs> I should text Aww. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Using bro. the plane's Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 you tweeted this. Oh what god. Is, what is true love? <laughs> did someone give you the answer? Because if they did, let me know. Um, uh, I I got random ass answers. People were just like, oh, just just sell everything you have and give it to me. How <laughs> was that? Like, <laughs> <true love." laughs> I thought that was like halfway gonna be like some really like deep, deep guru esque answer. Like, give away your material possessions and try to find a deeper, more meaningful connection with the creator and mankind. Go serve in a third world country, help your fellow man reflect. They're like, nah, just like sell it, but give it to me though. Like, give me your shit, man. <laughs> so it's one sided deal. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't 
understand. <laughs> the next one, how can I love someone when I don't love myself? That's the one I want to oh. die. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. It's it's actually true. Like with that one, that's that was some, something I was just thinking about. Like, that's it's, true. It's true. If you don't ever like feel good in yourself, how can you ever feel good to be with someone else? Essentially. Mm. The reason why I'm interested in that is I can relate to that a lot, mm. a, a ton, dude. Like I've had that feeling a lot myself. Is is it is that something that you've dealt with y yourself your whole life? Yeah, no, like I think it's just something I, you know, I'm. I, it's weird to say, but I am still dealing with, you know, just to be at a point where I'm like, hundred percent happy with like how I am and how I, you know, like who I've become, because, especially you know these past few years, it's been. Fast, man. Everything's you know been happening with the boxing, with the music, even with YouTube side, man. Like, bro, like the, it's going crazy. The amount we're making is just stupid. Like, <laughs> and I, I just didn't ever think we'd ever be at a point where we'd be making that much and you know we'd be together, you know, killing it. So I think it's just been a lot for me to try and figure out who I, you know, who I am, what I am. And I think I had a little bit of an identity crisis as well. Or what's what's, what's existential yeah. crisis? Like no, yeah. no, um, it's, midlife um, crisis, quarter life when crisis. I don't believe I should be in the position I'm in. Oh, personality imposter. disorder or something like that. Or like, is it like dis disassociating or something like that? I I, I don't. I don't what was that? Mike, just get out the DSM. Just get out the fucking DSM. Diagnosis, boy. Imposter what are you doing? syndrome. Yeah, there you go. There come on. The what are you saying? Um, if you don't mind me asking, what do you mean? Like you don't feel like you deserve what you have? Well, it's kind of just. I think it's interesting when he said earlier about the you can't love somebody if you don't love yourself. I think it's really interesting because I know you know there's a saying like love your neighbor as yourself in Christianity, and it's always interesting because everyone really emphasizes the love your neighbor, but. That's only half of it. It's love your neighbor as yourself, which means you have to love yourself too, which is something a lot of people struggle with. I think I, I struggle with it too. I struggle with it a lot, but it's it's interesting how important, like you can't, I feel like you really truly can't love other people in general unless you have some level of love for yourself. I don't know. Or at least you can't express it outwardly unless you have love for yourself. It's like, it's a strange I don't, concept. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't. Hey, what up, T I don't understand how I've gotten into the position I'm in. That makes sense. I saw yeah. I, I saw something on Instagram yesterday that helped me a lot with that because I'm the type of dude that would work on something so much mm. and still think I'm lazy and I'm not good enough to be yeah, in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a football coach talking to his kids and it, it, it fucked me up. He said the the hardest worker in the room still thinks he's the laziest. Mm. Yeah. And he goes in the laziest person in the room thinks he's the hardest worker. Yeah. Hey. And that really made me feel good about myself because I was like, damn, maybe <laughs> I should stop putting so much pressure on my. Yeah. Name. Yeah. And I feel like that's what George is just like, well, I, I I think I'm lazy, so therefore I must be the hardest working person in the room. I know George works hard, but it's just it's funny. Imagine you are like the laziest kid in the room. You just have an accurate <laughs> you have an accurate assessment of where you stand in your life, and then you hear this, you're like, oh shit, I'm the hardest worker? I haven't done anything. All these fucks are doing less than me. <laughs> like it would just be so funny if someone had an accurate picture, they saw that, and they're just like great. During these pause. Like literally the last few months, I've really just tried to home, you know, home it in and just take my time and just really appreciate everything that I've done and everything that I've got. You know, I I even like recently got a therapist because I was oh, like, wow. I just need one. I need to be able to you know talk to someone about yeah. my thoughts and my feelings and how I and what the fuck's going on with my life because it's just sometimes it can get a bit too much to the point where I didn't want to lose myself mm. and just. You know, well, yeah, as soon as you get lost in the source and just start going crazy or doing a madness and that's, doing things I regret, so. That's really healthy, man. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Dude, it's, so yeah. it's so funny. We literally live parallel lives. I also I just that. got a therapy. Whoa, whoa. whoa, Sachin, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, homie. Thank you. Go fuck it, really oh. I swear to God. Oh, you really? Yeah. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, and, and and bro, I, I I don't know if you'd call it whining, but uh, I, I whine all the time to them about like wh why me in this life, why yeah. why me here in this studio, like yeah, what, yeah. what did I do to deserve this, and and I don't understand it, and that sends me in a bit of a, a tizzy because, and you were outlining this last night that in your thirties, evidently this uh, sort of identity crisis and the worsens and the why why oh, why, no. why, yeah, because <laughs> you think you haven't figured out your twenty. Everybody in their twenties oh, no. is like, oh, I got this shit all figured out. I, yeah, I, I got I got it now. You know, especially when guys, you're I don't want to I don't want to go through an identity crisis in a year. Shit, I, I'm just feeling pretty good about everything. I don't want this to happen. You have success and that kind of thing, but then as you, I think I think at some point you have this realization <laughs> that like 
yo, holy shit, did I spend so much time creating this <coughs> career, this persona, this online personality that I didn't focus on any of my own personal growth? Yeah. Is that something that you like? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I've just been focused on just mm. my career the whole time, the whole time. And I really neglected, like, you know, I, I guess family and even my relationship. I think that's one of the reasons why it kind of just fell apart because that I sucks. just didn't give it time. I didn't nurture it. I kind of just just was so focused on my career and you know don't get me wrong I, you know i'm doing well with my career but like it you kind of need that life work balance and i feel like i just didn't have that it was all just work you live in the future yeah that's it, that can be terrible for the song. wait live wait what <laughs> you live in the future so like i I, <laughs> I tell this to my friends that live in the future so like people that are always planning and they're always oh. working and like you have a good relationship but instead of sitting here and like enjoying it you're like yes. i gotta work really hard yeah. so my family doesn't have to struggle yeah, i can yeah, set yeah. myself up oh but that's so sad so you're like trading the present for the future which is kind of a good thing because like delayed gratification is inherently like what separates successful people from not successful people a lot of the time but then if you delay it too much, you never have a time to enjoy what you've built with the people that you love. So you're not even connecting with them. So your life just kind of sad. That sucks. That's a really good point. Oh, I'm glad, I, boy. I hope you're right. I just don't want to do an identity crisis at 30. But I'm I very happy. Tell people, the present is a present from God. So enjoy it. You <laughs> yes. have to be in the moment. I like. I like when you do cool things like that with words. I do too. The present is a too. present from God. Yeah. Do you overthink? Um. Yes and no. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't, which is exactly what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> the overthink will be over the like answer. answer. <laughs> so, yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's just one of those things where sometimes it, it could just be as simple as, oh, okay, this music video, what do I want to do with it? And mm. then I try to overthink it when it can just be so simple as, oh, we can just be in a field and we can it can literally just be me and the camera and just the connection between that mm. essentially right rather than me just trying to overthink and then essentially not get anything done mm. because of it or just slow down what is that it's like pra procrastination by oh what's it called uh piss jar by the way no <laughs> uh procrastination by analysis by paralysis there Everything we go and just not get where i want to get to because of it so I'm often plagued by the thoughts in my head, always just like crossing paths and going which direction. Mm. They're fucking fireworks. And I find that when those thoughts, especially, and maybe now it's amplified a little more because yeah. of this whole weed withdrawal thing I'm yeah, like going yeah. through and like uh, I'm just thinking about everything. When my thoughts are focused on work and my career and my business and the things I'm passionate about, mm. my overthinking actually isn't bad, right? Because it, 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 it translates directly into a, a, a product. Yeah, a, you get to see it. Exactly. Like, oh, you, you think and it happens. And exactly. Look, it's yeah. action. Yeah. It's but action. when it comes to like interpersonal relationships. Oh, bro, and girls, bro. Oh, bro, it, it's the worst, oh, man. man. Like, it's nothing worse than you, like, you know, being in a relationship and then all of a sudden you just overthink something that she said. And you mm. just know it's not that deep. Mm. But then you're thinking like, wait, why did she say uh, she loves me without exes? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, I don't get it. Like, where's my two exes? Like, we always have two exes. Why is she just says, and I love That's you? a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I see it sometimes. I'm like, this girl's British. I didn't know. <laughs> did you, um, do you, I sometimes feel like overthinking is the curse of a, a gifted and creative mind. Mm. And I, I really do believe that. I believe that people that have a, a creative outlook and uh, and live in the world that, that you guys and that we all do, do uh, are prone to overthinking from time to time. Would you trade it for a blissful ignorance? Would you trade? I don't know, man. I don't know if I would agree with that. I think that people overthink things at pretty much every aspect of life. I don't think it's necessarily inherently something that's exclusive to creators. I don't know. Maybe I just have access to more people who aren't in this type of a field. I think people who are accountants, who are lawyers, have the same exact overthinking, sort of existential dread, worry about. I, I, I think in a lot of ways, creators might be slightly less likely to because often they've pursued something that was very internally driven. And a lot of times people in other industries might have gotten into those industries not because of an internal passion for them, but because they of external forces, like they wanted a good career path, right? Or they wanted to um, just support their family. I don't think like 
they're necessarily got into it because they love accounting. They might have, but they might have gotten into it because accounting's a stable job where they can provide for their family. And I think, I don't know. I, I think that's the only thing sometimes with Impulsive I, I disagree with is I think they have a very LA and like social media content creator influencer centric view. But I really feel like that's something everybody struggles with and has to struggle through. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I agree with you. I'm a big overthinker and I have a pretty normal life. That's what I'm saying. I think when I, I have friends that are at all walks of life and I think that all of them pretty consistently, unless they are an incredibly mature, wise individual, suffer from overthinking, I think. And, and it's, not, it's not reflective of where they are. It's just like how much kind of internal wisdom, emotional maturity they have and just like how they move through life that they don't do that anymore. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's just... It's Brandon, interesting to be happy sitting on a recliner after nine to five and being at complete peace with yourself and maybe a, a loved one and being able to focus your energy on that. <laughs> I think I would, you know, I think I would. I think there's something nice about just being at peace. Like, you know, I was talking to my mate Calix about this. It's yeah, crazy Calix. with like, I don't want to say normal people, but like with people who would, for example, just, don't have like a crazy lifestyle, don't have like YouTube, all this other stuff. They just have a normal nine to five. And then j just something as simple as walking the dog can just give them so much joy. Whereas like, for me, it's like, that is just like a mundane task. So I don't know, it's just like, I lose the, I feel like at some point I, I'm struggling to find joy in things, which is weird. Like, I think because of the career that, we've been in it's just always just the next level next level next level next level and we never get to appreciate the little levels so then something as simple as i don't know going on holiday we don't really appreciate you know what it's like to go on holiday i don't think that's a i don't think that's a social media thing that's just a workaholic thing bro <laughs> like, that's just a workaholic thing I, I guarantee you like high power lawyers people who are really really striving professional athletes like name any industry anybody who is wired and is is like incredibly focused at being a top performer in their given industry that's anybody i don't think that's a content creator thing that's just because they are at the top like 0.1%, the 0. 0.0000, whatever fucking decimal point percentage. That, it, yeah, it's a personality thing. I agree with you guys. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, I, I, thanks for, I'm glad you guys are sharing your um, your your thoughts about your the overthinking thing. Because that's something I struggle with too. And I, I like reading your guys' comments on it. Yeah, engineers, I, I feel like that's any career-driven people. It's so much that it's a stereotype. That gets portrayed even in media all the time is the office executive who can't stop thinking about work, can't enjoy his life. Like that is a stereotype as old as media, right? I don't know. Enjoy ourselves and just rest because you're just still thinking like shit, I really should be doing something or mm -hmm. like, I feel like I've spent enough time outside now. Maybe I should do something else. That's that executive it's never mindset, like, oh, you can't you know? just enjoy the moment. And I think that's just the career we're in. Mm -hmm. I think that's just how it is. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was like, I need to see a therapist because this is not okay. This is not okay with me just not enjoying things anymore. Yeah. You're coasting. Yeah. Facts. I felt like I just... For the record, I think everything that they're saying is incredibly wise. I don't want to say that. I just am trying to say like, hey, I think that this applies to more people. I think, I think the wisdom you're sharing applies and the experience you're sharing applies and helps more people than you guys think it does. Does that make sense? Like, I think this is more wide-reaching wisdom than you might think. I think this would hit everybody. I'm glad, dude. Think about how beautiful it is that you realize this at, like, 29 instead of realizing this at, like, 60. That's beautiful. I, that's amazing. I'm glad that all of them are discussing it, and I hope that they can get there because that fucking sucks. Like, imagine if, if you only realize this when you're 50 or 60. Like, you have family. You have kids. And your kids are grown. They're out of the house, and you just suddenly realize, like, you never connected and engaged with them because you were always too concerned about what happens next. That's nuts, man. That's nuts. Also, same as me when I started working at a startup company. It was tough for the first few months. It all be paid up, but yeah, that applies to everywhere in life. Dude, it's crazy. Startup culture is brutal. You're a, a G to make it through startup culture, IL boy. Those guys go hard. Yeah, there's, there's workaholics in academia. It's everywhere, man. It's everywhere. I'm just in this zone. It's funny. You're going to have to train yourself. 
to learn how to relax. Dude, that's yeah. so much yeah. academic. To learn yeah. how to professors slow down. Can, yeah. There are some and, professors that work crazy hours. They go crazy. And ironically, I thought, and this is just from an outsider's mm. perspective, I thought you had always been good at that, especially because you had a girlfriend. And oftentimes a, a, a girlfriend will, yeah. s- will slow you down, kind of pull you yeah, back. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. So she did. She helped me a lot with that. But then it got to a point where it was just, it was impossible for t- for her to take me out of the Aww. matrix because I was always on. Like, you know, we'd be chilling, watching like a movie or something. And I was always just looking at my phone like all the time. And she would just get so frustrated. She'd that be like, sucks. why can't you just turn off? And I'm like, I can't because you never know. Like there's always something I might need to, you know, sort out or, you know, deal with, et cetera. So mm. it's one of those things where it's, you know, I, uh, these past few months, I've really like, especially with the therapist, man. I can't like, I can't say enough how amazing a therapist is because it's mental health, man. And I feel like it's as important as physical health. And with physical health, you always have to keep it up. Same with mental health. You mm. can't, it's not something where you complete mm. and then you're good. Like you always Deb? need to look. But Facts. yeah, I feel like Facts. with a therapist, it's helped me really identify what i need to do in my life so i'm like okay cool i need to learn to say no to things i need to learn to disappoint people and upset people because i need to think about myself because i am the most important person to me true if i don't care about myself then what the fuck well how am i gonna really care about anything else and if you if he doesn't take care of himself then all of those external things are gonna eventually come crashing down because he'll come crashing down, right? That's crazy. That's so interesting. I, I, I'm. This is so fascinating with, with, with anything I do. So that's kind of just like the space I'm in, and you know, just trying to uh, learn. I'll listen to that one more time. How am I gonna really care about anything else mm. with, with with anything I do? So that's kind of just like the space I'm in, and you know, just trying to uh, learn and appreciate the small things and just. I guess find fun in things again. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. The power of no. Oh, bro, it's crazy, bro. I, <laughs> I'm sure like, I can't even imagine how much these guys, how many requests these guys get. I bet they get like thousand emails a day, and hopefully they have like PAs and stuff. They don't have to go through them themselves. But I can't imagine, like even just with the small um, channels that we have, right? Like we get messages all the time for sponsor deals and stuff like that. And it, it feels exhausting to me. And we get maybe like one every every week, every couple weeks. Like I can't imagine with the, how massive these guys are. They probably get so much shit that they, and it sounds weird because it's like, oh, it's beautiful. You work so long to get to the point you have all these opportunities. And it's great in a lot of ways that they have so many different opportunities. But, dude, it's got to be exhausting just, like, wading through all that, right? I can't, like, I can't imagine. That's just so much energy just, it's just going out. It's just going out. Like, you get a 1,000 emails a day. Holy shit. You get, like, 10 people asking you to come on to 10 different podcasts. How do you decide which ones go on? You can't do all 10. You maybe want to do one. How are you going to narrow them down? Like, man, sheesh. That's got to be so difficult. I, I can't, like, I feel drained when I have to consider, like, hey, hey, babe, should we do this sponsorship? Like, once every two months. That's tiring. Let alone, like, a thousand in a day. I think most of my life Sheesh. has been me saying yes to yeah, so sometimes many scams. things. Not for them. Not for them. For us, yes, because we're, we're bottom totem pole. They're tippity top totem pole. I'm sure they're not getting that many scams, right? But I think that's kind of, <laughs> like, a childhood thing because... When I was younger, the idea of saying no to my parents, fucking hell, bro. Like, <laughs> wooden spoon, all the fucking yeah, yeah, there we go. All the the yeah, yeah, yeah. All the things coming out, and you're getting beat. <laughs> it's like, hey, yo, you washing the plates? Yes, mum. <laughs> yes. Are you uh, doing, uh, are you cleaning your room? Yes, mum. I'm doing everything. Yes, yes, yes. So I think that's just been in ingrained into me so now in you know normal day-to-day life i always just say yes to things and i don't realize that it's just it's slowly taking a draining draining of me yeah draining. over and over and over and then eventually it just i kind of just explodes into this thing and i just lose all sense of myself and direction you yeah. gotta protect you gotta protect that. the energy that, that you put into little things he's always been 
very good at it. And I think mm. him and him and Jeff combined have been very good at protecting him from every every thirty second conversation you have with someone that isn't aligned with your goal in life is, yes. is sucks energy out of yes, you. Yes, exactly. And so I, I, it's got to be tough. Oh, dude, but she shit. That's the inherent problem. Mike just said every conversation you have that's not aligned with your goal in life. That implies that you're trying to do everything in your power to only focus on your goal in life and your goal in life usually especially with guys like this who are so successful is completely and totally focused on something career-wise right and that's why they have so much trouble turning off because everything in their life has been tailored and fine-tuned and engineered to just be so driven and focused on their end goal their career so that's why bro that's why, that's why, because they can't, because everything's so fine-tuned and they're so protected because they need to be because there's all these different sources trying to take their energy. But when you're that fine-tuned and you're that protected and you think like, oh, I can't direct energy towards anything, this weird 30-second conversation, um, my family's upset, okay, I can't deal with them right now, I have to focus on this, I've got too much going on. That's what takes you out of being able to enjoy the present and the moment, man. You're just screwed, man. Ah, ah, it's so interesting for you guys. Cause you have, so I feel like that's the exact dichotomy that they've been dealing with this whole time. It's that it, you, it's very difficult to protect your own energy and protect your energy from external things that are going to take it away and prevent you from getting to your goals while also taking the time to enjoy and appreciate life. And you can do both, but holy crap, it is hard to do both. Right guys. Damn people mm -hmm. i won't Sheesh. i won't i won't do it now anymore um I, my delivery s s fucking sucks uh, <laughs> which is why which is why i'm seeing if they're like that's my main issue yeah right? yeah because when i say no sometimes fuck off fuck off, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> with no c just f-u-k and don't oh, do it to dude. me even no, fuck if you're busy fuck off i'll be like yo what do you what do you do fuck off oh wow no, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 better his therapist told him to stop spitting in our face fuck off i was like dude <laughs> he was curb stopping. No, like, uh, like this. Maybe this is the worst example ever because, like, everyone should probably do what I'm about to say. But, like, man, the amount of people I have that come up to me and they're like, "Yo, dude, so I have this project." It has oh, like, NFTs. That's so sucky for them. I'll go stop. Oh, I will not do this with you now yeah. or ever. <laughs> and that's mean, but also. I don't. I don't feel bad about it. Yeah, I, yeah that's yeah, my so. energy, dude. You, like your energy is your currency. Yeah. And, and at the same time, it's honesty. It's way worse if he leaves them with the impression that like, because a lot of people will blow people off and they'll be like, oh yeah, bro, thanks for telling me. I'll get back to you. And then they just never get back to the the dude who's just waiting. And yeah, sure, maybe they're a bit obnoxious pitching their idea or something. But I think it's a lot more beautiful if he if they thought that they had an investor and he just gives them a flat no, then they can seek other investors. That's great. I I think I think in a way like yeah, sure, it sucks in the moment. But for long term, for both people, that type of honesty, I think, is better when it comes to this business type of stuff. If they're your friend, maybe not. Yeah. Listen, your energy is your currency. Yeah. How much are you worth? Yeah. Because if you're just giving, 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 yeah, giving, yeah, giving yeah, yeah, eventually yeah. you're zero dollars. Yeah. You're at the end of the day. and You're like, who the fuck am I? What, yeah. what, what yeah. do I have left for me? <laughs> what have I done? Exactly. What have I accomplished? Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And I think I need to get better at doing that. And I am. I am. Like this year, I told myself. You know, 2021 was a great year for my career, but 2022 is going to be a great year for me. Hey, I like so that. that yeah. Hey, what's up, Zoro? I like that a lot. And that's and that's why we're here today, right? You guys are, are starting on a, a, a new endeavor that is extremely promising. Bro, I guess Tom! so. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole morning, he's been going around going, bro! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Holy shit. We, we started a, a beverage company, a hydration drink my called drink. Prime Hydration. Uh, we are going to rival the biggest brands in the world, Gatorade, Powerade. Imagine if JJ just went, <laughs> that would be such a bad plug. Uh, Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke. Pepsi, Coke. Everything. I mean, it's, yeah. The, uh, the idea that us. <laughs> That's awesome. Us YouTubers. So cool. <laughs> no, not just YouTubers. Yeah. You two. Well, yeah, yeah. You yeah. two. With oh, one of the biggest beefs. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's, it's it crazy how it came about. Crazy how we've just, in six months, bro. Like, I still have the DM you messaged me with. Being like, yo, I've got an idea. <laughs> dude, you know how hard that was for me? Yo, shit, really? I bet, this dude, like, how, how do you just go to someone who is like historically like 
y'all hated each other. Yeah, like, we yeah, hated yeah, each yeah, other, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Or at least had to convince ourselves. Alcohol, just that alcohol. We hated each other, yeah, right? Yeah. It's hard to get in a boxing ring and fight someone that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and so I I I, uh, I had this idea, and I was mm. like, dude, JJ would be the perfect partner for this. And, and we had the podcast, and we had kind of made amends, and we had reconciled. Mm. Um, but, you know, we still weren't 100% sure. And so bringing you and pitching you anything is yeah. difficult, let alone— Oh, bro, bro, I, you know, like, I'm always, like, really, like, touch you when it comes to anything. Of course. Like, I don't just say yes to anything when it comes to, like— Business. Well, it's, it's, you just it's, said you did say yes. Well, well, no, well, well, I mean, well, I mean well, no, 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 no. Let me wash your dishes. Yes, well, in the room. Yes. Well, with business, <laughs> always it's different because it's like. LeBron and you've watched of course, you've watched, of course. yeah yeah right. I oh boy I love these boys I love these boys I definitely check it out for sure I just don't I just would feel fucking bad if like I don't like it and, and or I won't drink it or I look at I'm like oh there's more sugar than I would want I just don't want to shit on it because I really love the boys but I would definitely do it and I'd give you guys honest review and stuff and just if I don't like it it doesn't mean it won't be a successful product you know what I mean and, and you have layers I'm just too. worried I, I won't yeah, yeah 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 that's the thing I told your manager about it first because yeah. I, I said hey i have this idea i'd love to tell um whoever a contact on your team and then i i kind of massaged it to him I, I went the professional route yeah yeah um and it worked why what what intrigued you about it i'm curious like, that's what, so what funny man it? well, it's, it's so funny that's crazy that's so interesting to me he like chose to go through the management that's really i think that's like really sweet and respectful in a strange way though you guys like, I think that he's fucking Logan Paul. He could just message JJ. They're peers, right? They're both at the tippity top of the YouTube pyramid. And he still chose to, like, be respectful of his time and go through his management. I think that's actually really sweet. You know? I don't know why. I just think that's cool. So I've always wanted to do a hydration drink. It's so really? funny. Like, I was actually working really? on one. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. And then you came up to me with this idea. I was like... Fuck off. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> but then I was like, the same person. It's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> but then, you know, I was like, okay, I wanted to make sure like it has everything that I'd want it to have. So I, I didn't want it to just be like a, a Pepsi or Coke mm. where it's got like 150 calories mm. per drink or even more. I think it's crazy. It's, I think it's way more like, than that. I wanted something with, you know, low calories. I wanted something that tasted good. And, you know, it was something you could just drink every day and it was all right. Mm. And I didn't feel like shit after it. And I was like, cool, let's make sure that happens. Mm. And you're like, cool, let's work on it. And boom. Six months later, we have Six three million bottles have... going to Walmart, Target, <laughs> Kroger, so CVS, cool. Ralph's, GNC, so Vitamin cool. Shop. Oh, oh, I'm That's sorry, crazy what? to me. Exactly. How does that happen? That's crazy to me. Yeah, the whole thing's so Dude, real. Dude, YouTubers I think are killing it when it comes to these these products recently. Like, Nelk Boys have a, a what, a hard seltzer that's actually in stores these guys got prime it's insane to me seeing the the businesses and the products that are coming out of the social media scene now it's so cool and it's crazy to think where we came from where it started with like 10 years ago youtubers selling merch with like their face on it and now they're like no we're gonna start products that are gonna threaten the established industry right it's so crazy man for me yeah still... xix vodka which i need to try i hope they do a u.s drop Taking a while to process, like even today when we were like going through. Bro, three point five million units? Are you guys kidding me? That's it's so crazy. I know nothing about retail, but that's nutty. All the the stock and just checking it all out and just having it in our hands again, mm. just really just embracing the whole moment. It's just yeah, it's so real, it's man. Be, our faces are on the van. Oh, bro, outside. bro, it's odd. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but it's 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 funny because for me it seemed it just That's perfect it just Harrison, made right? so That's much cool. sense. This is by the way how I'm making decisions now. Mm. If something is so like fucking blatantly obvious, yeah, I almost like have to take it. Like in my opinion, um, the the hydration beverages that are on the market right now are like either a not good for you b tastes yeah. like shit or c yes. are archaic as fuck gatorade's been around for 15 years has 120 calories it's it's so high in sugar is fucking garbage it's weird. Yeah, man. why it's has weird. no one uh effectively made a drink that is actually better for you and um <clears throat> is affordable and <laughs> tastes good <laughs> it. It's the most important thing. Like, it just has to taste good. And it's funny how, like, with any really, really, really good idea, you hear it and you're like, 
yeah, yeah, fucking idiots. And you're like, yo, bro, you're one of the idiots. You haven't thought about this once in your life. You've been on Earth 29 years. Never thought about this once. Hear Logan Paul and JJ talking about how it's so obvious. And I'm here like, yeah, everyone's a moron. Bro, it was me too. I didn't think about this ever, but I'm thoroughly on board. I'm like, yeah, fuck everyone, idiots. How have y'all not thought about this? We thought about this. I didn't think about it. What? It makes so much sense though. I'd love to grab boy. The only thing with the sides is that I don't know if Stephanie can eat most of it because she's got a pretty severe uh, gluten allergy. So that's the only downside. I don't know if we'd be able to do it because it's got quite a lot of gluten in it. So uh, we'll yeah, like same with like, what was it? Um, is it Lucasaid Sport? Like, I hate like, is that. Is that a British? Uh, that's a British, yeah, uh -huh. a British drink. <laughs> <laughs> us, us Yankees don't have that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, like, I, I, I drink that and be like, this tastes like fucking shit, shit yeah. man. Yeah. And, but like, I'm like, how the fuck am I ever gonna get anywhere near of like creating a drink where I can make it taste good and put it in stores? Seems well, intimidating. That's we do have a, a little bit of a secret weapon. Our, yeah. Our, yeah. our, manu <laughs> our manufacturers are <laughs> fucking wizards. Yes, we have. Very, some... very, very good team. Yeah, very. But, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad y'all said yes. This journey is gonna be incredible. I'm man. so excited. Like, that we've created this thing and yeah i feel i feel bad because we're like pulling you in so many different directions like you have to come to la no 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 but you came to the uk that is, that's true. yeah, yeah. That's true. we you know we did a you know, little but, but i only came too. there for prime you're doing like 10 different things here during your, yeah. this week no <laughs> yeah just like music um working on my next album yeah just oh that's like, cool you know, writing that's it. so cool and that too that, that feels like the natural progression doesn't it because jj worked with some Big American artist last album, but I believe it was like uh, a remote collaborations, right? This is really cool. That's sick. That makes a ton of sense. That guy right there. What's that guy doing? Oh, I'm a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, big boy Wes. So he's been filming me the whole time since. That's a Ram big ass June. camera. Holy crap. Just mo like literally my whole life. That looks like some shit Rambo would fire off into a like helicopter. That Did you guys see this shit? Like Look at this. Since <laughs> Wes, big boy Wes. So he's been filming me the whole. Look at that! Like, man has an RPG. Did he get a kill streak to unlock that camera? Four what the heck? Since around June, just mo like literally my whole life, just what's going on. You you like him, I assume, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah he's cool. <laughs> he's yeah, bro. He's seen. Dude, me. imagine if your cameraman really fucking annoys you. You're like. What am I supposed to do? He's on contract to follow me around, and this guy sucks, but he's always there. It would be so annoying. It would be terrible. It's like Michael Scott with uh, with HR, right? You know, the highs and the lows. <laughs> so, so, I mean, not to get into it, but when you were going through all the Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Every, oh. yeah. I'm sure this it was didn't just help. Him, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, he just essentially mainly him. That was my, that's my one concern. Um. Uh, uh, about filming everything is sometimes mm. when shit gets a little too real. Yeah, I like to turn the cameras off. Yeah, but you kept them going. Just kept it going. Oh man. my god, that's. A I, I, I'm sure the people are gonna love that. <laughs> that's what I was just gonna say. That's what made that transparency, honesty, well, yeah. and just like always on nature. That's what makes or breaks programs, content, everything. I yeah. wonder what could have possibly provided the added pressure that was stressing out the relationship. Surely it's not that the cameras were rolling 24-7. Surely not, right? Holy shit. That seems like it would be just an absolute pressure cooker for a relationship, right? Yeah. Like if you're uh, willing to just go out and say, yo, we never turned the cameras off. During the harshest moments, uh, during the moments yeah, where I was completely, yeah, yeah. you know, fucked, we let you watch all that. Uh, that's, the, that's what sells. That's what really makes people uh, tune in. Yeah. Makes me kind of um, sad. Yeah, I've always just been an honest person. And like, I've always just been fast. a person that just goes, yeah. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to try and pretend that, you know, things are, are working out when they're not. It's just it's just how it is. And I think people are going to really see, like, a completely different side to what they normally see online. When online, I'm always, like, happy or, you know, like, or, you know, decent and having fun, et cetera. Whereas, a lot, you know, a lot of times people don't see what, goes on behind the scenes how much work goes into like creating the things that people see all the time you know what i think about a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna try to iterate this in the best way possible yeah yeah but it's very hard um okay so like you just described people are gonna see a side of you maybe they haven't seen before yeah okay but now add that to the uh uh diagram the vent or the the pie chart that people of things that 
of sides of you that people have already seen. seen. Yeah, yeah. Basically, mm. like people really fucking know you. Yes. As as they do most digital cr- content creators. That's why that's why um, creators, YouTubers, influencers are able to create such a large audience that mm. that really falls in love with them because they know you. Right. When yeah. people see me in the street, yeah. it's like. Th- what you go, see is what you get. Yeah, yeah, they go, oh, yo, what's up, Logan? Bingo. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Bing. is weird because then they don't know the person that's talking to them. It's like a very weird situation where the person, it, 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 there's, a, a, there's, there's a big gap in knowledge where Logan doesn't know Jack about this guy who came up, but this guy feels like he knows everything about him. I, I heard, so I can't remember who said it, but somebody said it's like social media creators are going to, to destroy like established media because... The characters that you know and love, like Joey from Friends, for example, you you can see that it's the actor. You know it's not Joey, but it still kind of feels like it. But you know that the actor is not actually Joey from Friends. But with social media stars, it's like if Joey from Friends existed in real life, which is just like it's a weird concept to me. But it made perfect sense when this person said it like 30 times more clearly than I just did. It's really interesting, though, because you are the character and the character exists. And it's not like a, a, a Hollywood movie or a TV show or something where it, the, the filming ends and that character doesn't exist anymore. It keeps going, you know? And people love the people that they engage with in media. I don't know. No, it's, it's, it's not like, oh, shit, Logan Paul's there, and they just move on. They, what, they'll just come up to you and be like, oh, yeah. hey, what are you doing? Which I love, and it's, yeah. it's part of the biggest blessings of being um, in really? this career because a lot of, uh, you know, maybe A-list celebrities, you don't really know who they are. You just see mm. their work. So mm. my question is, as someone who is doing um, uh, traditional work and Same art, aisle, like boy. music, Same. Um, like basically sometimes separating art from the person is hard and sometimes the art is better than the person, right? Ooh. Like how many times uh, do you see or hear or watch uh, a piece of work and then like the you meet the person in real life and they fucking suck. suck. Or and they're now, just and a the, fucking like child molester, right? Like they've done horrible, heinous shit, but they make really good movies, right? It's like, what the hell's that about? Now it ruins it for you because you yeah. don't like the person, yeah. so you don't appreciate the art. But mm. people know so much about you yeah. that I wonder if it, I don't know if inhibits is the word, but affects how people consume your music, mm. for example, or, or or any other body of work that you do besides media. Mm, that's a big ass question. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting question, I, I huh? Like, I no, know. no, no. I know exactly yeah. what you mean. It's just how to try and answer it. Um, I'm worried about. I'm worried about showing too much of me, and, and, and doing too much when I want to create like a body of work that I like. I want to be completely removed from who I am. Yeah, I think. With me, like that's a lot of people, kind of like what happened with. Uh, I feel like J.K. Rowling, right? Like everyone loved and engaged with Harry Potter, and then the more they got to know J.K. Rowling, a lot of people were very turned off by the person, even though they loved the creation, right? I ah, that's weird. But in that case, it doesn't seem like they stopped engaging with Harry Potter. They just were like, they just stopped engaging with J.K. Rowling, I right? A lot of people have seen all the things that they see online, obviously, but. Things like family, things like my relationships, things like, you know, what I love, et cetera, what I do that's not on camera, um, people don't know. So it's kind of like there's still always that sense of mystery. Like, mm. even when I was, you know, with my ex, no one knew who she was. Like, there was still this. That was really cool, I thought. Was she, blah, blah, blah. We're all intrigued. And, you know, I still hey, what up, hold Cobla? things back. And obviously with Amazon, like, they, you know, they're gonna show things, but it's only for like a glimpse. They only get to show it for that period, mm. and then after the after the filming's done, like then there's the air of mystery again because it's like, oh, what happens next? next yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I feel like with music, it's, I think that's that's why with with, with certain music, people are intrigued to figure out like what's going on in in their head, what's going on, and like. You know, I think that's why a lot of people want to know what is going on in my head. What am I thinking? Like, you know, if I made another album of me just being like, oh, I got tons of girls, I got tons of money, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. It's kind of just like people already know that. Like, yeah, yeah. well, people know that I can. You know, <laughs> <laughs> 
Like if I had to talk about all the pictures I could get and the money in my people don't know that. What am I gonna bother them me. with common sense? <laughs> no, no, but <laughs> but it's it's like to be expected. It's yeah, like, sure. you know, I'm it's already been I'm done. famous, yeah. I'm I'm I've got money. Obviously women are going to be there, but it's kinda like when I talk about Can we take a feet? second guys? Georgie Porgy looking like an absolute snack right here. Look at this man. George looking beautiful out here. Obviously <laughs> women are going to be there, but it's kinda like when I talk about my feelings and what's going on in my head and Bro, JJ about to fuck around and make a whole ass like male Taylor Swift album, huh? I feel like the next album could be really interesting. Like you like I have always saying, right? You know, I'm torn between <laughs> You know, wanting to be with my ex or wanting uh, to find a new relationship or mm. figuring out where my life is and, mm. you know, why I have to go see a therapist and stuff like that. And talking about that stuff, that's stuff people just don't normally hear and are intrigued about. Mm. And I feel 100%. like that's why it's it's like a, a lane that I want to kind of venture Introspective into. Introspective rap, you know, right? Mm make music on that's that's like the age-old thing it's like as you watch an, uh, a person in music or movies as you watch their art rise you generally start to see their their protection of their personal yeah. life rise with it, yeah you know? mm -hmm. and so like like you said to protect either their art form or their or their you know their personal space or whatever but in this creator age what you're doing by talking about mental health to millions of people by mm. talking about you know seeing a therapist by talking yeah. about your, your your deepest darkest stuff that's what the people want. Yeah. That's what the people really want. And that's what allows that's what you guys to going. create a product that will be a, a billion dollar brand. Yeah. Because because people don't want any more sugar coated money bitches. I got a Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen that They've shit. Seen that. Everyone's everyone's. Hey, let's going. be honest though. Let's be honest though. When you're with your boys three beers deep. On a 10, 8, 10 p.m. on a Friday, people want to hear that though, right? Like you're with the boys, 10 p.m. drinking pregame, you kind of want to hear it, right? A little bit, a little bit. You the hype, you can't just because introspective music is super valuable. Hype music is really great too. Like if you didn't have hype music, it, it just serves its place. There's different different music for different occasions, right? They want to know how to get out of the fucking mud. They want to know what you're doing to get out of the mud. They want to know all the stuff that goes on in your mind because that's the stuff that they can relate to and the stuff that they can then mirror in their lives. And so, like, I think it's important, you know, for, for you guys to continue to remember that. Yo, what is the more effective thing that I do to leave a mark on this planet? Is it creating music that, it, that I feel good about or is it really showing what I'm like on the inside and giving people something to take home with them? Yeah, and I, I think that's why, like, with you know certain music, people like you know XXX Tentacion, like bro, like his with his music, people can relate to it. They're, yeah, like, there's just that connection. Mm -hmm. Whereas like if you're just there, like oh you know I go into the club, everyone looks at me, you know I got money, blah blah blah, I'm strippers, blah blah this. I, like, I mean yeah, I guess there's a little I connection. Think it's kind like, of fun. You do that every now and then, but like you know we're all human. And you don't engage with it the same way. I get what they're saying. We go through problems, we go through highs and lows, and you know trying to talk about that and assess that is it's intriguing so we were just i feel like shot. there's music that is real you you i feel like there's music that is aspirational or inspirational which is kind of like um like get you hyped up get you excited gets you thinking about like oh i want to be the best i want to do better I, I got this you know what i mean and which is like the i got money i got paper i got what hose of different flavor or whatever it is and then I think that there's music where it's like, you're, you're you're relating with it, like he's saying. I think that they're just different. Hey, what's up, R? I think they're just different though, and I don't think one replaces the other, or that one's even inherently better than the other. I do think that the like relationship oriented music is something that people will like glob onto a bit more. I feel like the inspirational music it's kind of like replaceable who the artist is when you're listening to it and i think you see that with people who make that style of music it's often like one two three hits done next artist one two three hits done and the ones with staying power usually make the type of music that people can actually relate to i think but it's interesting man it's interesting i feel like the time and place and i feel like you take an artist like drake i kind of feel like that's why one of the reasons amongst like a million reasons he's been such a huge staple in the music industry in the last decade and just been absolutely killing it is because he makes both relatable music and inspirational music and he does both really 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 well and he just covers all his bases you know 
for New Year's. Because that's how I am. Like, I, I listen to both. I enjoy both, and I enjoy both for very different reasons. And I can't, like, in, if I'm in the right headspace, I cannot enjoy one. And if I'm in a different headspace, I cannot enjoy the other. You guys know what I mean? Like, depending on my headspace will determine which type of music I want to engage with. Like, if I just, I'm like, shit, I need to grind out some work. I need to get a workout in. Give me that inspirational music. I just need something to pump me up and get rolling and get going. I can't listen to, like, a fucking sad song and do that. You know what I mean? Hey, what up, Salty? How you doing? Stad, Switzerland. <laughs> oh, snow. Yeah, and, uh, dude, we were in a room uh, once where the total net worth was over a trillion dollars. Over a trillion? Yeah. There were more billionaires uh. there than there were not billionaires there. What the hell? What? Actually absurd. Uh. What we found was they got the same fucking problems that we do. Really? Yeah, yeah man. Oh, it makes yeah, we sense. We got the well, same fucking problems yeah, that everyone yeah, has yeah, watching yeah. this. Granted, Hey, right, Biggie said it. M money helps. I'm not going to fucking lie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure. It I'm makes not, it. I don't want to whine. It helps with but comfort. Bingo. Bingo. 100%. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like a, it's like a temporary little, like, uh, coating on a cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the insides are still the same. Yes. And, and And I think there's, like, a, a through line of relatability that um, creators in general... Are, are 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 much better at um, showing and 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 being transparent. Oh, then then legacy yeah. media. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Everybody um. bleeds the same. Everybody breathes the same. Dude, guys, I read a study or, or something. I read a study that said after about eighty thousand dollars a year, any additional money after that doesn't make people happier. Isn't that wild? Isn't that fucking crazy? Like people who make eighty thousand dollars and people who make two million dollars, there's not a measurable differentiation that you can track with like. Th th there's no more correlation between more money and more happiness after eighty thousand dollars. I was so surprised. I was like, really? I don't know. I just like I thought that if there was a bar like that, it would be like a million or something. You know what I mean? It's just I, I was so fascinated. Like after that point, it doesn't. It doesn't solve your, it doesn't solve your, um, any, any problems that still exist after about $80,000 money doesn't sufficiently solve because there, isn't that interesting? I was just so fascinated. I thought that was so weird. The money is comfort and security. Yeah. That, and, and those are huge things. Don't get me wrong, but it also, as you know, I'm sure and can attest to brings its own problems have you seen <laughs> having money and 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 like what kind of problems have you dealt with what are the biggest downfalls of being a, a famous creator because you know every kid watching this wants to be you i be think Logan. i think if i'm being honest it's more the fame has been more of a problem than the money i oh, think thank you so if much i you. was like a thank you private quiet millionaire billionaire yeah like i think life would be easier than being a famous millionaire billionaire I, agree. I think with me, a, a, a that makes big a lot problem, of sense, especially with my ex, or you know any of the girls I was with. Like having people always just constantly coming up to us, like all the time. Like even when I'm like eating dinner, and you know normally with someone like, let's say, um, I remember I went to, what's it called? I think it was Hakkasan or Novakov. I think it was Hakkasan, uh, and Freda was there. Keanu Reeves was there. Just, they're all just chilling. And, you know, I was there and I was like, out of all those three people, everyone would just come to me. Yeah. Like, I would we be the it. one we that people it. would just walk to and just be like, hey, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? Someone like Fredo, they'd just be like, oh, shit, that's Fredo. And that, leave it at that. Or Keanu Reeves. Guys, I, who's, who's Fredo? Fredo? I, who's Fredo? I don't know who Fredo is. I get it, though. I hear what he's saying. I feel like, Content creators are inherently more approachable because you know more about their lives, right? Hey, what's up, Ryan? I and the guys, all of you all were saying the the limit's higher. I thought the limit was higher too, and like studies aren't infallible. I thought it would have been more like 150 to 200k too. I, that's why I was so surprised that the researchers found ADG. It's a UK rapper. Ah, we probably reacted to him. You just look and be like, and that's it. Whereas with me, it's like you come up to me, I you demand the photo, and you and it's just like. Have you seen his roundhouses? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the man kick? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I've seen how he builds a weapon, though. <laughs> Have you seen him box? Um, Keanu? <laughs> you're talking about uh, Keanu? Yes, he'd be my best friend. Uh, no, he'd, he'd, he'd fuck me up, though. Like, 
I, oh, no, he, what with a fucking gun? Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, <laughs> Damn, bro. Yeah, he could wield. He could yeah, wield. yeah. <laughs> Supposedly that new that new Matrix is. Yeah, it's not. It's not him. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's oh. why they made it though. Probably not. The writer was like going through something like personal, and it, it was her only way of getting out of it. That's what I heard. Oh, well, great uh, for great for the one person. Yeah, that's that <laughs> shit for everybody. <laughs> to take it to that I, I've not seen one person. Dude, was I was like, expecting no. so much of a different answer. No, <laughs> I was expecting like, oh no, oh, I heard yeah. that. Oh, I just no reason actually, to fund a multi yeah, actually, billion you know, dollar the movie. The movie is actually pretty good now. <laughs> 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 Speaking of good ass movies, Spider Man had me fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, everyone Those says it's so good. Yeah. Don't spoil it. Yeah. Dude, I have to say, can we all take a moment to appreciate George and Mike? I feel like they've been perf the perfect co hosts this episode. They've been wonderful. They're doing such a good job. I mean, it's, it's pretty much spoiled at this point. If you haven't watched it by Whoa. now, then I'm tough I'm luck. luck. I haven't. Yeah. I yeah, but, spoil, it. spoil it. You haven't seen Spider-Man? Spoil it. No, no, no. no, 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 no I, I just no, watched no, no, it yesterday. I like this spoil it a lot. If I spoil it, I, I, people would actually You're getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, do you think the reason why people uh, come up to you is because of what we talked about earlier about how open you are? Like, no, they feel like they know you. So. That's my homie, that's my homie so. JJ. Well, I think, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It's just because... Essentially, people know me more than I know myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Whoa. I've been online for 10 plus years. And I've been you know, doing YouTube the whole time. They've just seen my growth. So, yeah, it's like... It's like... I, you know, like we're friends, and it's That's like I've trippy. never met the person. They come up to me like, "Yo, what's up, Jay? How you doing?" And it's crazy. Like people who are like my friends or who are with me think, "Oh, you know him or her," and I'm like, "I've never met him or her in my life." <laughs> do you have to <laughs> pretend like you do sometimes? Uh, well, yeah, I, uh, no, no. I, I kind of just go, you know, I don't know you, but like, what's yeah, up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then you know, obviously, if they ask for a photo, I take a photo. But like, I, I take a photo if I'm not doing anything. I, you know, if I'm doing something I and I go, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm kind of busy right now. Some people don't understand that, and it can be really annoying and frustrating. Some people understand that are really cool, but like some people just are just there like, no, bro, it's just a photo. It'll take two seconds. And I'm like, no, For it, them. It, it, it isn't just two seconds. For them. If I take a photo with you. You have to take a photo with the next Everybody. person. Yeah. And the next person, the next person. When people, tell you, when people tell you, last one, last one. You know what I said? I go, okay. You're gonna tell everyone else that yours was the last one. Yeah, after yeah. we take this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but I, you gotta try. So yeah, you gotta try. Yeah, you, your friend Randolph. Yes, is gonna be a dad. He's gonna be a oh yeah. Randy, his his let's video go. and all your guys' reactions made me tear up, man. Bro, it's it's just crazy. Like it, it made me think like shit. I'm getting old. <laughs> like, yeah, it's getting to that. How point. do you think I feel? <laughs> 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 that was his most, most sincere laugh on the podcast. How do you think I fucking feel, man? I'm Dude, too this dinosaur. is a great group of guys. I, I like. I know this isn't realistic, but I, I feel like if they did a, a show together where it was just hanging out, shooting the shit, it doesn't have to be directed about any one person's life, just kind of about whatever they were doing in, in the past like week or month or whatever, I think it would do really well. What up, kid? I think it would do great. Like, I think they have really good chemistry. And it, this, I don't know, this doesn't feel like a guest show so much as it feels like, I don't know, they've got such good chemistry. You know, sometimes it's more of an interview. This just feels more of a conversation. Oh. <laughs> hey, take it easy, Tarja. Take it easy. You can't be 16 saying you feel old. That makes the rest of us feel geriatric as hell, okay? Sorry, bro. Um, I am. Yeah, anyway, I'm happy. Uh... I'm happy. I'm just enjoying the vibes. Yeah, no, like, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Even, like, Vic getting engaged as well. Dad, too, I saw Yo, that. Bro, so, like, so, so you're seeing your friends around you fully going into, hey, I'm an adult now yeah, with a family. Yeah. And you <laughs> just kind of kind the, of the opposite. The op complete opposite. And now it's just me and Toby being single. Oh. Uh, where, whereas oh. everyone else is just in a relationship for quite a while now. And just how, the girl, the how, the, how the girl's been? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, this, bro, this could be, we could be here for hours. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Mom's looking at me like, oh. <laughs> I mean, look, I guess, I mean, okay, well, I had one girl, but me, bro. I think this is one of the reasons why <laughs> oh, oh, I had oh. COVID. And then bro, I misunderstood that. At least I think I did. I'm not sure if he said I had one girl, like, who copulated with me or had one girl screw me over. I st actually, you know what? I still don't know how to read that sentence. <laughs> yeah, I had tons of liars. What did he- Reasons why 
I had COVID and fuck me, bro. Uh. I mean, look, I guess, I mean, okay, well, I had one girl, fuck me, bro. I think this is one of the reasons why <laughs> I, <still get> it. <laughs> I had COVID and then after it, I had tonsillitis. Because um, the girl. No, 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 not because, so, not because of what she did to me, or maybe, I don't know. What happened? So yes Basically, and yes. Both. Both. Are you both. okay? So there's, both. Both. there's this girl. Um, Show us on the doll, JJ. Much, but like, she, yeah, she's really nice. She, lovely person. Um, really got along. Uh, and then there was one thing she told me. She said that she used to be a devil worshiper. I, d no. And I was like, I laughed. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, hail Satan and all that shit. And she was like, He's doing yeah. anything to smash. She's like, yeah, bro, 666. Six, six. He's like, 69, that's 666, six, six, baby. You know I was like, Doing yeah. blood sacrifices oh, over it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, you're taking a piss. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Like, the whole Ouija board shit and everything. She believed that. And I was like, what? And she was like, obviously, now I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not really that into it. That into it, that into it, that into it. How do you only do part time? How do you do that part time? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really that, that into, into it. it. Yeah, what? Uh, no, this was after we like hooked up the north. Oh, so yeah, okay. So, that is literally the so that is was, the scariest thing. So what is she right there? Now? I've already <laughs> no, 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 no. With the with the devil. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's bro, like, bro, bro, bro. wrapped up, <laughs> all wrapped up, bro. I always wrap up. Oh, wow, always wrap nice. up. Yeah, yeah, sharp. yeah. Sharp. But like. It's how much we saw. Sharp. What, what? Sharp. 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 Oh, okay. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Yeah, yeah. So when she told me that, bro, I was like, yeah, man. In the back of my head, I was like, I got energy. Bro. I <laughs> yeah, got bye. Energy. I could already hear my mom screaming like, ah, ah. You know what? <laughs> are you mad? I never watch a part. <laughs> ah. Revolt! I've done all <laughs> I've done for you. <laughs> Church every Sunday for 18 years. And you want to bring home a devil worship. <laughs> Say uh, Satan at my doorstep. The girl, the girl you. enters his house like... <laughs> 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 No wonder he smashed. <laughs> she, She's like, you should see her head. She can do a backman. She can do a backman. Don't be around. Yo, shit. Right. Oh, this so bad. Damn. She comes around. <laughs> like, oh, man. But yeah, no, as soon as I, hey, as soon you, as I saw Selena, bro, got COVID and then tonsillitis, I was like, yeah, yeah. she... Put a spell on oh, me 100%. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. she's she, got a little doll of you. She pokes with she pokes with I'm like, I don't know what, what I'm well, about to get. Dude, a, on a voodoo doll, where the fuck do you poke to give them COVID? <laughs> where do you poke the voodoo doll for that? Like, again, you poke the arm for them to break their arm. You, like, poke their tummy to give them stomach pain. Where do you poke them to give them Rona? <laughs> Next, like, shit. A child. I Whoa. <laughs> a child. You just thought she was going to tell you she does OnlyFans. She's, yes. she's an only, only a fan of the devil. Oh. 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 God, wait. Wild. Wild. Shit, bro. But yeah, bro. Like, like, oh my God. Like, like, these past few months, bro. Dang. I've been, but like, like, how many dates would you go um, in a week? What's like a normal amount? Maybe one single. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I was more of a type of guy that I like. I found a few people that I was interested in and spent time with them. Roster I also guy. let them knew that like, I, I'm single. Roster. Okay. So like, I, I wasn't like. It's I, called a roster. We George. do rosters here in LA. Okay. You guys are sluts. Don't bench. compare me to you. What guys. you're saying what? is the exact you same guys thing. You are sluts. No. <laughs> you're a romantic slut. You're like the worst yeah, type of slut. Is. You're like, I love you, Mick <laughs> Yes. And then, and then, and then he'll use his own one. tears Arthur. for lube. He's like, why does she love me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find this completely inappropriate. You know, <laughs> you know how many toothbrushes this kid has? It's like 40 girls' toothbrushes. I live in Puerto Rico. Boy, I, live in Puerto, I live in Puerto Rico. <laughs> are you so are you having so Bro, Logan Paul's a dentist. To call him the dentist from now on. Holy crap! He just looks out for these girls' oral hygiene. <laughs> like, where do they come from? No, no, no. Oh, that's no, so no. mean. I'm, I'm absent it for 2022. Wait, no. have you ever flown a girl out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, out. Has has Logan ever not gone a week without flying a girl out in the last year? It's like Southwest. You, you, you've not. Like, you've I'm not. trying to think. I don't think I. I don't think I. I think oh, I have, but it's for a diss track. <laughs> Who, who uh, was uh, Net Nobody? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's work. Yeah, yeah but you fine. you would too. That work. <laughs> if you were on a, a a secluded island in the middle of the Atlantic, yeah, you, might, yeah, you know, yeah, you're in yeah. London. You got some tings there. You don't right? got a choice. Yeah, that's you don't tings. get plenty tings. of girls in London. How how many dates you going on, bro? Seven, <laughs> one a, a night? week. One no, one a day. Holy crap! One a day, bro. One different girls, bro, bro. And it was like that. So for, much like, work. Two, two, three months. Oh my but god! Just date. What are these dates like? Tell me, like, what well, a normal date. Is, it was. It was. I think for me, it was quite nice just to like, because I'm so used to always talking about myself. It was nice to talk to a woman and be like, "Oh, let me know about your life. Let me know about what you're doing." <laughs> Cutting that blonde chick from Twenty Women versus KSI. She's like, "Huh." That must have been nice. <laughs> you guys really are hey, similar. Yo, yo, oh, hey, your girlfriend's screaming in a room. She's like, this angel trying. goes straight to the devil worshiper. There's <laughs> 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 a lot of dates, man. Yeah, bro. Like, Holy it, was, shit. it was it was stupid the amount. Dude, oh, I'm just I, impressed. Oh. Like logistically, he's able to fi- like get all of those like talk to the women, get the banter enough to to get the date, or like to figure out you want to go on the date, right? To to set up the time, place, destination, and do all the other shoots he's been doing. This just seems like a logistical. Like I'm more impressed at the logistical execution than I am that he's able to get that many girls. You know what I mean? I was talking to like <laughs> fourteen plus women at the same time. WhatsApp. Do they know that? Do, are you open about talking? Oh yeah, to I was women? open. Like you know, oh I'm seeing you know different women. What what is? But they didn't know it was like fourteen. <laughs> can I ask? <laughs> Can I ask what the uh, what the culture is like in in London? Like, are you going on dates and are are you fucking on after the dates? Um, it kind of depends. Like sometimes, um, if the girl was up for it, then yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But I never pushed. I, yeah, I, yeah, was, yeah, I, sure. I was just there, like whatever happens, happens. And uh, I'd sometimes go on a few dates, and then we'll do it. And then sometimes it'd be one date, and then we'll do it. It's just. But it's the problem is not 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 the problem is <laughs> your you, the game you just described your yeah. your game of of asking questions and really listening and really taking an interest in the yeah. girl is is it's it's not my approach it's just like how I am like yeah, I also yeah. like like listening Curious. I don't I don't want to talk about myself like that's yeah, the last yeah. thing I want I do that here you know yeah exactly I do um, that for work but, <laughs> but 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 you know that's funny everyone wants to be heard. Everyone wants to be heard. Yeah. My number one piece of feedback I get from uh, women that I'm involved with is uh, I feel very seen by you. Mm. And and I imagine you probably give the girls a similar type of uh, attention. Well, yeah, bro. I like I would send them like either like long voice notes mm. or mm. paragraphs of just text of just like what I was doing in my day mm. and stuff like that. And, you know, like a lot of people just don't put that effort. Agree. In. Agreed. And I don't know. Was, I don't know how the fuck I was able to even do it to that many women. Like I'd have that, to write notes on like different women just to make sure I'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's got dossiers. Remember, like, <laughs> bro, it, oh, it is. It is. Man's got like KGB agent, Cold War era do- dossiers on all his targets. <laughs> and like that's why, like I've now stopped seeing all women. Makes sense. Oh, it's the same person. It's exhausting. Yo, listen. What? They didn't so listen to this for a second. So I have been yelling at this kid for sending what I call uh, novels. I'll look over his yeah, shoulder yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's 40 bro, bars bro, down yeah. to some girl. And I'm like, dude, you haven't talked to this girl. And like, he's like, no, I have. Trust me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's like chapter six of one text. Damn, oh, bro, that he's uh. And then at the, probably like a month and a half ago, he goes, Done with girls. I'm done with. He goes. I'm done with women. I go. You like guys now? Like what happened? He goes. I don't know. I'm just done with women. Bro, I'm just switching teams. I can't. Yeah. So you guys are literally moving in fucking parallel. Facts. I don't worry. Ever feel like you're picking the wrong? Well, you are picking the wrong one. Have you ever felt like you guys are just? Where the fuck did you even meet? Where did you meet Satan, girl? (laughs) She's like church. I don't know. It's like me and Simon. It's the craziest thing. We were just at the Temple of Moloch. What are the chances? I picked up a devil worshiper. We had the Ouija board out. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she just came she, out of nowhere. She door. appeared in the corner of the room. She's, She's looking bad as hell. <laughs> 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 it was like paranormal activity. You see a camera, but instead of like the bed, like throwing them around, just like just turning them around and just like playing around. Like, 
Um, yeah, bro. I feel like Logan and JJ, they're just yin and yang, bro. They're just yin and yang, right? Just, <laughs> no, no. So it's, it's all just Rayo, bro. All the girls. Nice. Just. Ooh. That's so oh. funny. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> we have decided not to. <laughs> what happened? Like, I got banned from Ray, Raya. You. What's oh, Raya? Banned. Raya. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I was on there for 12 hours. 12 hours? I did nothing wrong. Wait, what? Even got some good matches. Beautiful women on Raya. And all of Raya. a sudden, I came. I was greeted with a screen that was half completed. Like, this was definitely the first time they had shown this screen to any user. Like, I was the guinea pig. Yeah. And it said, due to uh, extenuating circumstances, Raya, Raya has decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> did not even finish. Not to, oh, did not it, even finish bad. the <laughs> sentence. Like they hadn't even completed That's this so screen funny. on the user interface in case a user was no longer allowed on their platform. So I'm assuming I probably upset one of the founders uh, in real life, uh, and they have, like hand selected me to be blacklisted. Uh, Why this is problematic is because like. Yo, it's it. yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how the fuck to meet yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. And like, do you use Tinder? No, no. no. Just strictly Instagram. Hinge? Instagram. No, nothing. So I, I, I used Instagram once, where I actually DM'd a girl once. One, sorry, wait. One, that, one. You've DM'd one girl. One girl in my life. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've ever like DM'd a girl, and it was crazy, bro. I felt like a little kid. I sent I sent him a message. Dude, I'm kind. Of, are you guys kind of surprised? I'm a bit surprised. I guess like if they want to date girls who are outside of the social media scene and stuff. I just had assumed that all the influencers didn't use social media or didn't use dating apps and just like DM girls on Instagram. I'm kind of surprised that they all use dating apps so much. But I guess it makes sense if you don't want to meet only women who are in the industry and you want to date like people outside of it who are, probably don't have like a public Instagram like that, right? Just drop my phone like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is the intro. It's scary. Yeah, this no, is the no, it's scary. Man. I was like, shit, all right, well, and I just kept looking to see if she seen it. I'm like, oh, oh dude, what's wrong yeah, with me? Yeah, uh, yeah. And then she replied, and I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> and like she was down, like to chill. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. So yeah, that was like the first time, and I've never done it since. It's horrifying. I, I just, it's not it's, really my yeah, thing. But it yeah, but it eventually becomes a science. Where you know that every single DM you you put out is getting responded to positively. Like, really? I was, what's your what's for your every, no? What's, every. I did send one yesterday that didn't get a response. I'll, yeah, sh I'll show it's, it. It's to only you yesterday. I like, like to see it's, it. It's Thank really you, CP. Bad. I'd like to see it. Okay, okay. You know how you wait for the right story to respond to, so you have something very witty to say to them. Which, by the way, JJ, is the game. Should you decide, don't to go mess to it. Don't hit send message. Find the right story that you can relate to and come up with some witty banter to their, send back to it. That their story that they've yes. posted uh. because they're they're happening in real time and they can relate to what you're saying. Maybe you can relate to their story. Okay. Yesterday, Smooth. there was this girl that I wanted to DM because I was in New York at the time and she was in New York at the time. So I was like, "Damn, I'm running low on options here. <laughs> I'm just gonna come up with some dumb shit." And this is somebody that I've been like kind of holding in my saved it collection for a while now. Mm. And I sent out a real subpar DM. And it, and, and once, by the way, once you miss, it's over. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, sure, you, yeah. There's no second right, chance. There's no yeah. coming Be back. Because, right. because, by the way, I, either she definitely saw it, she's like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Moron. Or do you unsend and now you're that pussy. Well, oh, now oh, when you go to the DM, yeah, it says yeah, this yeah, person sent that? you a I know, Remy, I heard that too. Saved collection? It's talking about girls like they poke them off cards, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to be unsend guy? I've, yeah, yeah. I've, I've never done anything like that. Yeah. That's like, that's like, do you guys remember? Oh, this I'm old, but binders full of women. When Mitt Romney was like, I've got binders full of women. It was the exact same thing. What? No, my, I, I, I still got some, some DMs. Yo, I'm glad you guys all caught that because I was kind of like, huh? But I wasn't going to say anything, but then y'all started saying it. So I was like, okay, good. I'm glad y'all heard I was like, yo, does that just sound weird to me? I don't know. Okay. The biggest one that I have failed on is uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, the uh, the Queen's Gambit girl. Still just still just hanging there. Just yeah, hang Wait, so there. you legit like just sit. famous, famous women. You yeah. just JJ, slide. I have very, like, oh, my, I just... <laughs> <laughs> no, be, no, no, because I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm particular as fuck. I probably, I probably said ten DMs a year, maybe, which, uh, yeah, which isn't a lot. But well, what do you, do you, would you say you have a type? No, bad bitches. I knew it. I knew he was gonna say that's that. the only thing that he likes. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just, it, was a, it was a song. Ray Shrubb. Bad, bad bitches is the only thing. Nah, you ain't got nah, no, no life. Type, no type. No <laughs> type. Mikey, let me see this. I, I am. I am strong. I see him. I, I, he's I, doing. I, oh, here it is. Here it is. Thumb here motion. It is. It's this is the worst. Ma- the be- the worst I've ever sat in my life. It was. A, it was Boys, just I just don't get how these massively successful influencers who talked for 20 minutes about how exhausted they are and they don't have enough time to enjoy their life. They're so focused on their business and stuff. How do they find the time to send this many messages? I feel like this just proves like your dick is the most powerful thing. <laughs> The little head drives. The little head drives. The big head is just along for the ride. How do you find this much energy and time to send this many messages? It sounds so exhausting. Context, it was a story of her in New York City, and I'm like, I don't. But, bro, the thing is, if it, if I was, like, single Wesley, I'm sure I would, too. Little head drives, man. <laughs> was New Year's good, or was everyone scared? Go outside. Wait, What? <laughs> Not, Obviously, it's not, not my even. Best. It's not even funny. It's no, it not wasn't. even funny to like, talk about. It's just sad. I feel sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you say to somebody at the grocery store when you don't want to talk Wait. to them. <laughs> what? That's very New York. New York had an Omicron surge, so okay. people were like kind of not going out. <laughs> what and great dating conversation! But it, yeah, it, it was awful. It was awful. And I, you know, I'm more than the main to... topic I like to pick up women with is talking about highly infectious diseases. <laughs> I really puts them in the mood. What? Listen, you can't just. MC just replied. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah ev- it sucks. Ev- yeah, everyone's scared. Then I'm in and I'll figure it out. But, like, okay. that was just, it, it, it was it was awful. It was awful. I, I generally don't do that. Is there, is there ever a response that you're like, I can't work with this? Yeah, well, uh, that happens all the time. So, okay. uh, so, so when you send a very relaxed response to their story and they respond, sometimes they'll just respond with one word. I'll never talk to the girl ever again. Okay. Like, if they respond with one word, they're not it. I'm just done. Yeah, I, I, walk, I walk away, I walk away yeah, from yeah. it. Exactly. Okay. But occasionally, bro, the majority of times you send a, a DM response to a story, they'll come back with some with some fun shit and you have a good conversation. Like, it, it I, it's generally oh, wow. not. Do you do you check to see if uh, anyone's DM'd you? Because Inst- no. Instagram has a top request button now. Yeah, but mine's just like, fucked. Mine, mine, mine is way glitchy, yeah, right? Yeah, way so glitchy. I, I'm just yeah, like, didn't uh, it work for like a month? That's, it, it works for a couple off? days at a time and then it stops. And it just ah, mixes up all the, the messages. Yeah, right? so I'm just like, this, I just don't waste my time with that. Yeah. So I guess that's why I just... Dang apps. I just am confused just the energy of for the dates, man, because like I'm afraid to get caught on a date with someone who like is fucking sucky yeah. or, or, or boring. But or, even or, if they're boring or sucky, then I just make it interesting. Uh, Bingo. <laughs> Bing, I love I love that. No, but I, then I just like come up with just like Let's do headstands. Well, n- no. Get the we- get the Ouija board. Get the, get the, the seat. Get the, get the leader hosen. No, no, but like just, just like just random shit. Just like oh, uh, um, would oh. you? All right, if you're in between, why? Okay, let's say. Okay, would you ever eat your dad's ass or your mom's ass? Whoa! Yeah, you know, like, just shit like that. And yeah, yeah, first yeah. of all, it's shit like, like that. Yeah, see, Crazy. But then I'll be like, no, but like you know, I'm just spicing up the conversation. <laughs> Be like, you suck, and I had no choice but to say something <laughs> extremely fucked up. <laughs> Just, do you start drinking more? Do you drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, I drink, I drink. So you, when if the girls, if it kind of sucks, the date sucks. Everyone who watches Simon videos just goes. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Dude, does he does he drink on dates? Because he gets sleepy, right? On a little bit heavier. I know. I just drink anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna drink anyway. Yeah. Oh no. There's some, there's some sometimes when she doesn't drink, and then it's like it'd be weird for me to drink. So then I. I, I always feel like a fucking degenerate when I'm ordering like double Moscow mules and they're just drinking water. Ooh, Moscow mule. Shit, I have to just chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm at the by the end of the date. You know, I'm I'm feeling way too probably good. Your <laughs> <laughs> bones. I think I think one thing I told myself I'd never ever do is date a singer. I don't think I'll ever date a singer. Why? Because you got to think when, let's say you're d- dating a singer, like what's she writing about? Oh yeah. Oh. 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 100%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, and chances are it's gonna be about you, and you know. But that's you now. Relationship isn't just. <laughs> You know, there's going to be some lows yeah, as well. So, yeah. you know, like, and I feel like with that, especially with two musicians, like, well, I don't know how Jay-Z and um, Beyonce. I have no, I have no it. idea. Yeah. Well, to be like, fair, to be fair, that that's not maybe the best example because there is a lot of, there's the Becky with the good hair, right? <laughs> a lot of times there's a bit of a, 
Mm. I know. I, what's the word? Lemonade was about Jay Z. Yeah, movie, right. Wasn't it? Yeah, there's a, yeah, a bunch yeah. of them. But does wouldn't that scare you? No matter what uh, vertical of entertainment they're in, like the idea of dating somebody else who has a voice and is famous, like unless you can unless you can confirm the eternal twenty four seven sanity of that person, you're putting yourself at a little bit of risk. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and you'd have to be 100%. Mike knows what he's talking about with that one, eh, boys? Mike, Mike knows exactly what he's talking about with that one. <laughs> with that woman. And, yeah, it's, it's one of the things where, like, you don't know, like, if you have a bad day, she might go on Twitter and just go, da 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 You don't say. I've, and been, then through, it's I've like, been through it. I've been through it. I believe that. I know. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, just... Talk to me, you know, privately, etc. So it's oh, dude, I'd be so it's, done. It's hard to find. I'd be so done. Of the right woman. For I thought I thought you were gonna man. say because they're fucking crazy, man. What, what? <laughs> Sing, singers, actresses, female artists, if male artists, all artists. Well, but I just happened to have been dealing with female artists. Well, I didn't want to say that. Like <laughs> I'll be honest, bro. They're fucking crazy, well, and, which is it, why they're great at correct. art. Yeah. And which is, yeah. by the way, yeah. also unfortunately why I fucking love them. Because <laughs> like, there's a level there where I, we could just talk about just this weird like creative art form yeah. that it, I, I I can't maybe with um you know the 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 uh, the lawyer. Girl, or the girl who's uh, studying in college, right? The mm. the educated girl. Yeah, but then you can grow her into it. <sighs> you, <laughs> some of that some of that weirdness is either in you or it's not. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, like one true. of the things it's that's a dangerous to proposition. Uh, the the first time I ever got like really like the first time in a relationship, I was doing a self tape with my girlfriend, and she had this really crazy scene where she had to break down crying. And I remember reading it, and I was like, in my head, I go, "This is a tough scene, bro. I don't think she's gonna <laughs> fucking get this." Bro, she blew me away, and for like a week, it fucked me up. I was like, has this bitch been lying to me when she's crying? Because like, it was so, dude, I swear, even the way she wiped her tear when she was looking at the camera, I was like, I've seen this. Oh I've seen this when she said she was sorry. Oh, that was Was she me. sorry? <laughs> and it like really messed me up. So now like dead ass, like, I, like an asshole, she's crying. I'm like, yo, cut the shit. Like, is this real or not? And she's like, what the fuck are you saying? Are you <laughs> crying? Yeah. You used to deal with that too. I, I, made, a, I made a rule, don't, don't date actresses. So no singers. They could just lie. Well, yeah, they could yeah, just yeah, lie. Once again, yeah, yeah, yeah. two yeah. entertainment yeah. verticals that you won't date. Like, what else do you guys have in fucking well, college? Well, well, you don't well, date well, singers. Well, you don't well, date actresses. That's, that's, that's <laughs> also like, what's reason, good? That's one of the reasons I'm like, I don't think I can date someone in my field. I've kind of <laughs> fucked myself because I've kind of entered so many fields. <laughs> Shit. No, uh, no, biz, no yeah. business women, no singers, yeah, yeah. no no, no hydration beverage owners, yeah. no YouTubers, no Can't entertainers. A uh, person who sells drinks now, like just <laughs> <laughs> so that's why Our tenders she's are like, out. I don't worship the devil, so she's so she's perfect. <laughs> She's like, come, drink from my cup. He's like, no, drink from my cup, bitch. What the fuck? Hey, <laughs> hey. I was gonna ask you your your this is business related. I was gonna mm. ask you your drink of choice. And my, I hope that you. Ain't, I, I'm sure you're primed up to answer this properly. Not your alcohol drink of choice. Oh, oh. Um, that's what just in general. Don't you have a first an alcohol? first drink of the night? You Whoa. sit down. Can I get a? I'll say Bailey's. Okay. I, I know I, you I expect me that. to say XIX. Yes. It was a. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's actually just a Bailey's. Like, what is Bailey's, by the way? Creamy. It's like a creamy. It's, no, it's really good. From old, like, I'm old Greg. You ever drink Bailey's out of a shoe? <laughs> yes, okay. That's Wait, where it's from. That's where I heard it. You ever go to a club where people wee on each other? Wait, what? what? I'm old Greg. Wait, I'm old Greg. Wait, I'm old Greg. Wait, you went to the box. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Wait, what are you talking about? That's a place in the Was London. that what old in Greg London. was talking about? The box. Oh, my God. Wow. You know old Greg, first off. Um, okay, I, okay. I know of. <laughs> okay, okay. So yes, I've been to the box. The answer is yes. Okay. Um, I, unfortunately, what? I didn't get to see anyone weeing or pooping on each other. Uh, I know. You got half the experience. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. What the fuck what? did you guys just say? Yeah. <laughs> Pee and poop on each other? It gets worse, yeah, yeah, it, How does it get worse oh, than oh, pee and oh, poop? Oh, 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 trust me. Okay, one example. I know where um, you found the girl. Like, is this, <laughs> is this as a show, or is it like people get so hammered that it happens? <laughs> <laughs> He's like this. So how long have you been here? <laughs> um, I think there was one where there was uh, a guy um, who had tits on. 
I don't know. Well, I, I guess transgender yep. or trans. I don't know. But like, basically, what? Um, they started just stuffing stuff up their ass. How, how much stuff could they just get up? just yeah. continuously? Oh. That can't be and healthy then for their colon. It out on people. Uh, yeah, uh, just like that type of shit. Bro, it's that mad. type of shit. I've never yeah. seen that type of shit before. <laughs> but then, but <laughs> have you have you ever been downstairs? Yeah. So I've never been downstairs, but I heard it's just a massive orgy. Oh no, wait, maybe not that far downstairs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How many down? JJ went down in hell. That's, that's, right. that's where he met the girl. Well, it's like a secret <laughs> club. He's like, yeah, I've been there. Because, well, yeah, because yeah. You like, know, it's a franchise, right? It's in New York. It's in London. Wait, there's one in. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the same yeah. box. In New York. It is. <laughs> I've never seen a long one like that. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wait, are, okay. I, and mind you, I'm not trying to play stupid. Like, what do you mean by, like, they're just pooping and peeing on it? Why would anybody come and... Georgie, yeah, how else can we say it. this to you? But why is it an establishment? <laughs> yeah, that I, I actually... It. Great understand. question. How's that how is that model? even a thing? How's how do you thing? get a job there? Well, it's because it's... <laughs> Yo, dude. How do you get a job? I have a question. How does, how does it, like... How do they pass their their food their safety protocols? Like people get written up if they have the the lettuce too close to the raw beef. How do they how do they still have a license to do business if people are just like spraying fecal matter at their clientele? I don't get it. <laughs> how is what the, the job how are they allowed process. to be there? Are what? they like checking credit background? Like what is the deal? How do listen, you, listen, they're just listen. checking black. They're like, I have an extremely deep and large rectum. I can probably <laughs> fit most things up there. And they're, and they're like, huh, that's interesting. Can you fit this? You're hired. You're <laughs> How do you get a job there? I don't know. Are I, they good looking seen... people? Uh, Ooh, that's a good question. I don't, uh, uh, Why are you guys there so much? Why no, is no, I've, no, I've, no. Only, I've only been once. You go one. one you go one time because just of, to see it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got you have you. to see. Okay. You have to see. I don't think I want to see friends, it. Or did you got, oh, of go course. Okay. Well, by myself. I went. Why are you there, bro? You're making it seem like it's even normal to be there. Let's go by myself. Experience. You're sitting home one day. You're like, I heard there's a place where they shit on. Let me go explore it alone. I went alone. Do they sell? That was the precursor to the sad boy tweets. There. Yeah, it comes out of people. Did he actually um, snatch it? <laughs> no, no. It's um. Oh my god. Well, I'm trying to think. There's another place in Berlin. I yeah. Oh, with... that. Oh. There's Tic Tac. Tic Tac in Berlin is, and Burn whatever that the yeah. one with the B is. Those are the most fucked up. But I've in the never world. been able to get in. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's like you have to be dressed. Have you guys got? Nah, I've never yeah. been in. Like they it's... turn you away at the door. Or yeah. Some guy just decides. Just decide. He looks at you and go, nah. Yeah. The tic yeah. the tic tac one, I think that's what it's called. You go in and the first thing they do is hand you a hanger, you take your clothes off. Immediately. Huh. Immediately upon entry. What? Otherwise you ain't going in. Shit. The the one you're talking about is, is like burn burner. I can't remember what it's called, but that's like the called. main one. But yeah, where it's like you see some crazy up shit. shit. Like the box, but like you, you're experiencing it. Yeah, well. you can jump in. Like I mean, as long as there. it's cool, you can get involved yeah. in the sex. Okay, so the box is like an entertainment thing. You go to watch it. Yes, it's more of a watching thing. Oh, yeah, burlesque. Is, burlesque. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always it's cool. Uh, no, 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 no. The play, like that's the style that the that the oh, box is. It's okay. like burlesque yeah, 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 entertainment. Yeah, yeah, you watch yeah. fucked up shit. I am happen. so curious on how that started. I met, I met, I met the guy. I met the guy who founded the box in London at Chiltern. Whoa. Oh wow! I met him. This is wild. And as soon as I met him, I said, "Now I get it." Makes sense. <laughs> one of those. No yeah. But it's not the only. I mean, even like Cirque is a little weird. You guys got a lot of weird. Yeah, Cirque is a, a little bit, but it's not as crazy. Not even close. close. Yeah, yeah, not even close. But I, I, I don't know. It's just like a show. While you're drinking, have a pie. It's like, oh, you just see a show. I got, <laughs> I got, I got a show with for boobs. you. So you you started this business with uh, with Logan, mm. uh, but as most people know, he's the popular older brother of a different. Ooh. <laughs> and Ooh, I, just wanna oh, I just want to ask you a couple. I just want to ask you a couple questions we before we go, go. to clickbait time. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Let's get the uh, breakout clips ready for the clips channel. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so does being in business now with the older brother mm. uh, kind of uh, revise or edit the way that you would talk normally no. about got it no i still fucking hate him i'm got sorry Logan. but yeah i think he's a cunt yeah <laughs> i don't know i mean like i don't know like obviously he's i mean this is a great question let's not lie like, we were all wondering it right he's smashed it mm -hmm. like he's killed it like you know like with what he's done yeah fair fucking play like it's it's pretty good 
like knocking the way he knocked out Woodley, stupid. It like, was a crazy knockout. It was fake. It's not fake. Like he cleaned him out, and it was like a great shot. But I don't know. I just for me, like I can't in my heart be like, oh, I like him now. Like I just can't. I don't know. It's like it, a, a lot of bad blood. There's a lot of bad blood. Yeah, there. yeah. But it's like there was also bad blood with you and Logan for a long time. Do you ever see a day where where Jake is able to either? provide something to you or make you feel in a certain way like you I guys think, become friends. I think maybe when I beat him, yeah. Just <laughs> but the thing is, look, look, I know everyone's always going, okay, all right, shut the fuck up, KSI. You haven't been in the ring for so long. You're not going to be able to beat Jake Paul. Look at Jake Paul. Look at blah, 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 blah. But then I go, styles make fights. Like, if you find a certain person that Jake is just horrible against and, you know, he's had less experience than Jake, He's still gonna beat Jake because he knows that he he knows. I know I'm a little what uncomfortable Jake compared <laughs> to what Jake tries to do with the person he's fighting, etc. That has a different style. I would I would. I would say you have to be in part. You have to just. <laughs> this is gonna be so it's, fucking interesting. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's a weird one for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's drinking your prime. He's like, he's like, all right, all right. Uh, bro, sponsorship. Oh. This sponsorship. <laughs> Yo, my business partner versus my brother. I say, yeah, it's a. It's a and, so I'm, I'll probably just go like hands off and like both sides. Yeah, like, yeah Best yeah, of just luck. Best like, of luck. Love on thing. both bro, sides. I'd be, I'd be kind of. If I was Jake, that would make me sad, man. Yeah. What up, ghost? Like, like bro. I, we had our shit. I ain't yeah, going yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't yeah, going yeah, back there, done, bro. Yeah. We got a company. Yeah, yeah. It's we're, over. We're, 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 we're winning now. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. over. <laughs> but, you know, I love Jake. So uh, Sponsor I the fight. Strictly, Sponsor the fight. you guys ever fight? Ooh, Prime logo right in the middle of the boxing ring. UFC style. Ooh. That would be cool. Be watching to be <laughs> fucking entertained as shit. And I will be having so much fun playing the middleman. Oh, like I'll be a stress. I, I wanna do I wanna do the press conference. Like Whoa. I wanna be asking questions type shit. What the yeah. like the Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I wanna be Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love oh, with the shape oh, of you. Eddie Hurt. Eddie Hurt. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Hurt. Yeah. I wanna see that fight really, really badly. And I know it's it, mainly because the one thing that I think the both of you have, and I, and I, I know you mentioned fighting styles, and you guys have very different fighting styles, and Jake is a very good fighter. Mm. He, I, I really do believe, I believe that the one thing that he does is he puts his life into it. And I mean yeah, that, and, yeah, he, and yeah, he always yeah, does. Yeah, no, he does. The one thing that I think that you both have is, a, is an animalistic desire to draw blood. And I, and I honestly believe that you guys, when you guys get in the ring, I mean, dude, I... I Full transparency. I hated watching you fight Logan. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I would stand there and just fucking clench my fist, and I, I didn't even want to watch it because, well, he's a very technical boxer, and I yeah. think he trains very hard. You, you, you look like the person who has the intent on inflicting damage as yeah, fast yeah, as yeah, possible, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that scared Logan's like yeah. as, as his best friend that scared the shit yeah, out of yeah. him. And and so like I want to see what happens when two people who are both, who are both hate like that, that yeah, hatred yeah, yeah, and that yeah. animalistic capability see each other in the ring. Yeah. And it, and it, and it, and I think everybody wants would yeah, like bro, to see that. Fight. I know everyone wants to see the fight, and it's annoying. Like you know, I've told my manager and everyone around me, all my team, that I want to fight. It's just obviously because of like <laughs> everyone's. I was always gonna be like, oh. You're always just docking him. You're always trying to make yourself busy. It's not like no, that. No, it's no, no. just like when I've tried to find time, things always find a way. And then it's hard for me like just to say, oh, I can't do that now. Like it's so I've kind of set in advance where I've gone, this is what I want. I want to stop, you know, everything here so I can have time to train and properly, you know, That's get so in the ring hard. and stuff. I know, but it's like I've had to do it in advance. And obviously, COVID hasn't helped, and all these other situations haven't helped and slowed everything down. But like, you know, I've got to like work with sidemen stuff. It's that's every week, and you know, obviously, we're doing side plus. We get the you know XIX, all these other fucking side brands, and it's like having to work towards that and find times for that is like one thing. Music as well, working on the next album. Like, you know, I'm signing a new deal, and you know, they're not going to be like, yeah, we'll just wait for you to fight. <laughs> Uh, you know, we've given you this advance, blah, blah, blah. We'll just wait for you to just fight and that'll be it. Like, no. Like, they're going to be like, we want to see our money work. We want to see what happens. So it's like, I have to work on that. Um, and, yeah, there's just a load of other things that I've had to just deal with and, like, work on. And it's like, now, you know, once I get the time, once I get the point where I've told it my team, iron. this is where I want 
to stop everything so I can actually find time. I wonder what that point is. And, you know, really work on fighting again. And this bless. And because, you know, I, I wonder like, how, how specific that point is. You guys know what I mean? Like, I wonder if that is a very tangible goal or if it's more of like a headspace or more like this is the kind of point, but it's not super articulated or if it's like down to the numbers. Like when Simon are at this channel, when I've released this album, you guys know what I mean? I'm very curious what that goal and what that point looks like in JJ's head. I've been itching. It's, I'm curious. It's bro, like it fucking irks me to see Jake just destroying everyone and winning and just everyone constantly like being like, oh, wow, JJ, you pussy. Look, look It'd be what such Jake's a fun from, from an endeavor bro. that you started. Yes, yes. <laughs> bro, I mean, I mean, Jake Paul, you, know, you, know, Paul, you started it. it. But that's why it's so annoying. And people don't think it gets to me. It fucking gets to me. And like, that's why it's annoying that I just have to deal with this. And I have to deal with people just telling me bullshit all the time, over and over and over again, when I'm there like, bro, I want to get in the ring. I want to fight. But there's just things that just, it's life. You know what I mean? I can't just push everything out of the way. because It's just not possible. Camp it's shuts just, everything down. Camp shuts yeah, everything. Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, no, yeah. like, that's okay, it, I'm going to do this. And you have to be in the zone. Yeah. Because it's like warrior. You're literally going in there to fight another human being and put your life on the line. Simple as that. And you can't just half-heartedly do it. It's just, yeah. you can't play with boxing. So, so. What did you uh, What did you think about the, the, the Tommy exit? And where do you see Jake going? What, we have to wrap up. Oh, they, man, Dylan gave it. Dylan gave it. Oh, shit. Dylan no, gave no, 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 fuck. Three, four yeah, minutes, nah, that's a whole rolling. other thing. I don't care about Tommy Fury. I don't care about... Okay, I was going to... Okay, that, that was the, good. The, the, the end cap on the Jake thing, though, is we talked earlier about people's reality mirroring their art. Mm. Jake isn't that. He puts on a really good show to sell tickets, but I no, promise yeah. you that behind the scenes, his kid's, like, really changing and becoming... Bro, 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 fuck you. Let him fucking fight and see... Oh, I want to make sure that he keeps <laughs> a, a, it open for nah, him. You know? Jake's nah, becoming a good nah, guy. Dude. I want the uh, He's becoming a good blood. guy. <laughs> Well, you know, he's been a really good guy. I want, I want, to be I fair, want I think the difference is, like, Jake, what JJ is talking about, like, you need to put everything else on the bench to do boxing. I feel like, to be fair, that is what Jake did. You know what I mean? Like, Jake stopped doing everything, and now he just does boxing, right? Yeah, he doesn't do music. He doesn't do... And JJ was more successful with his music. It's just interesting. I just find it interesting, the, the decisions and the priorities that they make with their actions. You know what I mean? It's just interesting because I'm curious because JJ was significantly more successful with the music stuff. And I think he was significantly like happier with the YouTube stuff because he's doing it with his friends and making all this kind of cool stuff. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. Jake did sideline everything, but I feel like I wonder if JJ will ever be willing to sideline everything because in my mind, everything will just continue to gain momentum and get bigger and bigger and better. I'm curious. I'm very interested. I want the <laughs> I want the blood shot. Because <laughs> everything's Dude, doing it's... so well, and it just seems like it keeps gaining momentum with side plus, with the vodka, with the sides. I, it doesn't seem like it'll slow down to facilitate everything being benched and moving into boxing. Do you guys know what I mean? So I'm curious what would trigger that and how it would even look. Because it seems like the longer it goes, the harder it'll be. It's been an honor to have oh, you Oh, bro, podcast. it's always, always, bro. So like, good. Yeah, man. I can't wait for this to get Yeah, this was so fun. Again. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. I hope they if you guys are listening, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Also, Prime is probably, hopefully, in stores near you. Walmart, Target, Kroger, CVS, GNC, Vitamin Shop. And we soon, think- soon in the UK. Soon. T- oh. t- test. Tesco, I don't want to say Tesco, Tesco I think, as right? the yeah, 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 but like I think in a month, I think a, in, a, there's in a month or two, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, for people who are domestic, there are ten golden Ooh. prime bottles hidden in retailers near Ooh. you. For those of you who find them, you will be heavily, heavily rewarded. Logan so Wonka, go get some prime. <laughs> look for the golden bottles. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Pulse. We'll see you next time. Peace.